Hey bestie, I'm Kenya and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining in for a plan with me video. In this video bestie, I will be planning for the week of May 1st through the 7th and I'll be using this new sticker book by Cassetic Plans called Boho Dreams. You guys, I cannot wait to flip through this and share with you how I plan to set up my week with these stickers. So if you want to see all the details and learn a little bit more, stay tuned. Okay, Bessie. So first up, we're going to talk about this sticker book, Boho Dreams by Costhetic Plans. Thank you so much, Cassie, for sending this over to me. You guys, if you have not followed Cassie on Instagram and on YouTube, please do so. She creates some of the most dreamiest spreads and she's just a wonderful creative and she came out with this sticker book. It has 436 pieces in it and you guys, let's flip through it. Okay. Up top, like the beautiful floors and y'all know I'm a floral lover and so I just was so impressed just with the first page like oh my goodness these are so beautiful like so pretty i love like the clusters like the floor arrangement vibe that it's giving and that page was clear this next page this is paper these are paper stickers and we get kind of like the same design just in paper so i love when sticker books do that like well i say sticker books y'all but when designers or creatives do that in their sticker books they give us a little bit of both like clear and paper and then we get this page you guys with some frames and everything like different little smaller stickers and then y'all this page comes with other design aesthetics and i love like the stripe detail it really can add like a lot of layering and character to your page and we get two pages of pages of those and these are clear y'all so that's gonna like make it go seamless into the page and then yes we get boxes okay one thing i always look for in a sticker book is the functional stickers along with the decorative give us a little bit of both so we have stuff to match and then y'all look she nailed it with these clustered layered boxes like this is so beautiful to me so all of those like little individual pieces she kind of clustered them together for us already so listen if you need a quick spread i just see this coming to life and then we get into like another color palette of these like boho floral clusters and this has like that turquoise color it's popping y'all and we get some more of those frames and these are all paper stickers and then y'all look at these you can use these for a design aesthetic or even function too so because they are paper you can write on them and then of course we get our boxes in the various sizes full sizes half sizes and quarter boxes and then we get clusters in this one too so i was happy to see that like that turquoise is popping oh and then you guys look at these pink this pinky rosy color burgundies tons of frames and y'all i know these frame stickers can kind of be tricky to like use in different things but definitely use them outline them do some doodling around them it'll make for a fun spread and then y'all another clear page sticker with some design aesthetics and just you know aesthetically pleasing stickers tons of boxes and y'all these clusters like these clusters are so pretty i'm super 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 happy about this cassie congratulations to you girl for dropping your first sticker book like this is amazing you killed it and i feel like these stickers are different from things we've seen before just because we get like you know it's something great for everybody if you want to build your clusters and everything so we're going to get into some planning y'all because i was just excited to use these and i pulled a piece of scrapbook paper that i got from hobby lobby that i thought would complement these stickers and y'all i only pulled three of the clusters okay because i was like i want to use the clusters because i just feel like it's a great way to show you guys how it will bring the spread to life without too much work like if you need something quick for the week this is the way to go and like we've had layered boxes in the community before but we don't see a lot of those clustered layered boxes that already kind of do some of the work for you so getting into the plan with me i thought that i would add a little bit of like texture to the spread y'all i love using scrapbook paper in my planner i've said this before on the channel and I just feel like this spread is no, it's just, I don't know, I wanted to do some incorporation, just kind of like separate it from the rest of my planner spreads and add a little bit more scrapbook paper, which I've been into scrapbook paper lately. I actually did a scrapbook spread last week too, so I don't know. And y'all know one of my goals this year was to use different mediums in my planner spreads just to kind of like elevate my 
you know, creativity beyond just using stickers and pen. And so I feel like this is such an easy way to do it. And one of the most simplest ways to use scrapbook paper is to just rip it up and place it in random spots on your spread and then do some layering on top of it. I'm going to show y'all that. And listen, you can't go wrong. I feel like you cannot go wrong. Now, what you do have to remember when you're using scrapbook paper, though, is to keep in mind the spacing on your planner spread and spacing in terms of function. Like if you have a busy week, like don't put a whole big piece down unless you're going to be using like a bunch of functional stickers over it. I mean, it's a way around it, but in this spread in particular, I knew that I wanted to make sure I left plenty of room to keep some function. So I'm going to I cut. Well, I say cut y'all. I ripped enough, but I'm going to still like hang it over the page just a little bit more so I can cut it down to make sure I can map out to where I can still write on Thursday, but I can do some little like a little layering too. And y'all are going to see the effect when I put the sticker over it. That's what I have in mind. So, let me trim this down a little bit. Y'all, I love this adhesive tape, you guys. And I'll link it below if you haven't tried it before, but it's just so it's so convenient and I love having it in my planner stash uh, for whenever I have these random ideas like, oh my gosh, I want to add this in. This is such a great idea too. Like you guys, if y'all are doing memory keeping or if you want to add some memory keeping aspects to your planner spread, you can know, you can put in like, you could type in like a movie ticket stub or like any type of memorabilia from something that you've experienced. Like you can leave yourself room and space to add that to your planner spreads too. So I always love to see how the planner spread transforms throughout the week because it's it's like your life, you know? Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on the right side of the spread, you guys, and leave myself a little bit of room. Well, enough room to like definitely do some layering for like as far as the decor and the boxes and stuff. But I also want to leave room for like a checklist of some sort, maybe on Friday. I don't I don't know. Normally I put a checklist on Friday, but I mean, I want to make sure I have, I, I'm keeping that in mind as I put this all down. Okay, so we're just lining it up, y'all. Like, I feel like already, though, I was so happy that I was able to find some scrapbook paper to actually match the stickers. Like, I feel like that's always goes. Like, it's either you want to have some washi that matches or some scrapbook paper or some type of, like, ink or something that you could use or pen for sure. Uh, would be great um so yeah i felt so good that i had this scrapbook paper i was able to find something that worked and i feel like doing it this way using scrapbook paper you can always put it down the spine too that tends to not take up as much room um but i don't know for this spread in particular i thought like going at the bottom and top it would add something interesting and it would automatically balance the spread y'all y'all know i'm really big into balancing spreads like i love a balanced spread and i feel like when you add an element that's a little bit different but very similar to each side of the spread it just brings it makes it look whole and complete and i i just love that so here i got my wax paper y'all and now let me give y'all a tip here because clearly I don't know if I've ever said this before, but you know, every now and then you need to throw your wax paper away. Okay. I can't tell y'all how many times I've used that one particular piece. So it kind of like held on to my stickers a little bit more than it used to, than it usually does. But throw, get you a new piece of wax paper if you use it in planning. But I love wax paper because, you know, as you can see, I'm kind of mapping out where I want to place the sticker before I commit to putting it down. And that, it just helps me. But my main reason for using it is it does remove some of the sticky on the back of the sticker to make it, you know, a little bit more paper friendly in case I need to move it around like I'm having to do this one. I'm actually a little bit more comfortable pulling it up and not so like cringy about ripping my page because wax paper kind of helps me out with that. It. It's the best sticker assistant. I feel on the market okay now y'all here's another thing that I really love that I think makes a spread for me it makes a spread be what something something that I want to write in and just enjoy for the week is when I really take my time and y'all will see me in this plan with me move my pages around and everything but I really try to make sure my stickers are as straight as possible like, I mean, it's easy for us to just lay the stickers down there, but I feel like when we actually try to make it like nice and neat, it just gives a better visual effect and it helps the mind too. It's like, 
you know, if your page is neat, unless you intentionally try to make it wacky. But if it's neatly ordered, you will feel more organized. I don't know. Is that just me? Like, is that just like a whole mental thing? It might be mental, y'all. It might be. So I had another cluster pulled, but I was like, I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm cheating a little bit, y'all. Because as y'all can see, the spread just already looks like I done done something. <laughs> it looks like I done done something to the spread. And honestly, I mean, these clusters made it so easy. Like, shout out to you, Cassie, for thinking of that. Because, like, I love this. Like, girl, yes, we ain't even got to build it if we don't want to. We want to just do all. Y'all know I love to do four big clusters on my horizontal. And, like, this book allows for that. I would have to use two of the same one. But, listen, if I need something quick and I need to get it in and out and still make it be cute and aesthetically pleasing. I love her play on her name. Casthetic plans. So cute. Like, this is it. Okay, this is it. So, super, super cute. So, instead of trying to cheat y'all, okay, because I could have legit just stopped and just put down four clusters and put my bullet points in and told y'all, um, this is all you got to do. I'm going to still try to build something, okay? Still try to, like, do my own little layering and clustering and just, you know, put a little bit of that flair onto the spread. So... That's what I did. I decided to pull some boxes and I decided to use some of those little black, like geometrical shape type things, stickers. I don't know what you would call those, y'all, but I thought they were cute. So I'm going to pull those. I'm going to make me two more clusters. Okay. I'm still going with my four cluster vibe, but I'm at least going to create the other two. Okay. Cause, but I feel like the clusters that she made in this book, they're just so pretty. They're so pretty. And that's like layering goals. Okay. Like if you were going to be that layering queen, which y'all, she actually is. If y'all check her out on Instagram and YouTube, y'all will see like she actually is a layering queen for real. So it just makes sense that her book has a lot of that in it. So I'm super proud of her. So, so proud and just so happy that, you know, she sent this to me. Thank you, girl. I'm so appreciative that I get to use your artwork and your baby. Like, I think it's so special. Okay, so y'all did add a little bit to this other cluster over here because I wanted that color. Because I was thinking about adding it to the top and I was like, oh, this cluster doesn't have it. So I, I finessed that one just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit that top cluster. And so we're going to start off with the basics. Okay, I'm going to put my two larger boxes down and I'm going to cluster in a square box. Because I wouldn't call that a half. It's a little bit bigger than a half maybe. So, are y'all good with, like, the box names? Do y'all like that? Do y'all like when I say, like, if it's a full box, quarter box, like, half box, and so forth? I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, some of us are visual learners, and, like, we can see the box. So, y'all let me know, though, if y'all y'all like that, and I can get better at it. Because I be, like, real life struggling sometimes with saying, oh, this is a half, this is a quarter, <laughs> and all of that. But y'all see, so I just decided to just do a little bit of layering with the two boxes. And now I'm going to go in and add some like some of these designs. And I want these two little geometrical shapes. Like, and they even, it looks like, y'all know like the wire decor that we put, like we have, some people have in their homes and stuff. Like, uh, the aesthetics. I love it. I love it. Okay, y'all. So I just put that one down in like the little note section, kind of like clustered it over because I always use that section as like an extension of my weeks, things that I, do, I know that don't have to go on a particular day. I will just use it and put it in that section. But then y'all do use my planner spread in a, as a whole too. Like as the week goes on, I will see what I didn't get done on previous days and try to accomplish them. Okay, y'all. So I'm just trying to make my little layers. I'm just playing around with it and everything. But like for real, y'all, I just feel like the scrapbook paper with those two big clusters. Like I really could have just chilled out. I really could have. I feel like it's this book is so pretty. And y'all, excuse me for being a little bit out of frame. I was moving the spray all the way around up and down. I think I was zoomed in just a little too close. So I'll try to fix it on the next video. But 
hopefully y'all can kind of see what i'm doing but y'all see the spread is coming together like it's these colors are pretty i feel like they are just the right amount of a little bit of brightness and pop but also that neutral look we like too and i've been wanting to do a neutral spread so this just came right in time but it's also giving me a little bit of color too so i'm loving it you guys i'm loving it so i thought this little fan thing would work i don't know I, and another thing y'all sometimes i'll like lightly place the sticker onto the spread to see if i like it there instead of using the wax wax paper i don't know i go in and out between the two and y'all i do my little thinking fingers <laughs> And here's where I'm like, okay, can you, you need to put some bullet points onto this spread. And I love my checklist stencil. I love it. I wish they still sold it. And I had found a link for it before. I don't know if it's still available though, you guys. But definitely if you have this in your stash or if you can find something similar, like comment below because the besties need this. Like we need this. We need this little stencil. Like I love stencils in general. I like to use it for the lines and everything, but these boxes, I just feel like they always add to the spread, y'all, seriously. And so now it looks like, okay, I can like use it, like put down my to-do list, I can put down my main events or main things. And then in any empty spaces, I can write in fun things, fun memories and stuff. I've been trying to get more into that lately. Okay, so the right side of the spread kind of threw me for a little bit, cause I was like, ooh, I don't feel like Friday I left enough room even though I could totally use that larger box for checklist but I didn't want to like commit to that because I was just thinking about my plans and everything we're gonna be hanging out with some friends this weekend and um we got a couple of events on Saturday we have to attend and so I was like I might be doing some prep and stuff for that as well I got a hair appointment this week so I definitely want to leave some space on the weekend. So I was trying to see where where I wanted to do stuff, y'all. <laughs> like going back and forth and everything in my mind. And so I decided, well, before I do any of that, let me see. Because I do have quite a bit of white space on Tuesday. As well as Saturday and a little bit on Sunday. So let me find some quotes. Because I feel like there's something else that the spread could possibly use is adding some quotes and i did have to pull another sticker book for that so i went to the align sticker book i believe this is the align sticker book and no it's not a line y'all what is the name of this sticker book it is it's called radiate y'all like i don't know I, I went blank there but i did also pull the align mini because i felt like i could possibly use some of it in it and then i used i pulled out the blushing it because i felt like it had like some of that bronzy gold tone with some black in it too so i was trying to see what would work y'all trying to find something that would complement the spread but not take up too much room and i felt like that one sticker in the radiate sticker book worked however i couldn't find anything that complemented it completely um to put on the right side of the spread y'all know i like balance so i was going back and forth i ended up not liking that font for this spread so i was like the blushing it book isn't it let me go back through the align book and see and it's mini size so at first i thought oh it would be perfect and it might have some of this tan color in it and i was flipping and everything i'm like mm, i don't know maybe i should just go with gold like I mean, it's technically gold on the page. It's just in paper form gold, like a gold sparkle. You can kind of tell if you could see the stickers up close. So I was like, hmm, let me see. So I decided to cut down this love sticker. And I'm going to see if I can make that work. Make that work for me. And I feel like when I put it on the wax paper, I was like, yeah, yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> I feel like this is it and then there's another sticker on here that says you are golden and I just feel like that was perfect for the spread so I was like yeah I found something and then I like the font on these two because they give that aesthetic look you know I was just going for that like I really got into whole, like the whole aesthetic mood with this sticker book y'all and so I was like oh this will be great on Sunday I feel so I'm gonna put it down here at the bottom and they're kind of like 
you know, fill in some of that space there for me. Like quotes do that, you guys. I feel like quotes and florals and clusters. And then, of course, I had added in the scrapbook paper. I just feel like the spread was really coming together. I did contemplate using a planner doll on this spread. But honestly, I felt like because of the vibe of the spread, I feel like a planner doll would kind of throw that off. And I wanted it to remain like soft and beautiful. And so I felt like the best route was doing just some quotes on it. Maybe even more than two if I see I need to later. But I, f I was trying to figure out where to put this love. And I felt like right here on Tuesday will be perfect. And I can still leave a, like a little space down at the bottom to put like a box. And then I have room to make some bullet points and things like that on Tuesday as well. Or even add in more boxes if I need to. Because y'all, my after the PNs, they transform. Okay, they do. And so I'm thinking, yeah, a box right there. And I really like, I like this love. I need to move it down though, just a little bit. So let me put that box on the wax paper. And let me move the love down so the O is not so flesh up against that burgundy box. And pull it up some. And I'm going to reposition it. And I actually, I thought about like whiting out underneath like the box so it can kind of you can kind of see the whole thing but it didn't really bother me too much it kind of actually looked like it flowed to me so i just left it then i'm gonna put this box right here in between monday and tuesday and just to kind of add a little bit more to that cluster and i'm gonna add something else to this one as well because i like a little bit more of that pastel nude color so boom y'all y'all see how the clusters look different but they also look similar just balance y'all balance okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add some checklists in on sunday because i want to you know prep for the next week because the next week is i have more, this month is busy y'all may is like popping okay lots to do in may okay so for friday I was thinking I could put a couple of like little bullet points, but then I decided no, Saturday makes more sense. And if I need, I can do some of these things on Friday if I have to. So I just put it on Saturday. Oh, it's, yes. And typically y'all, I don't like to do my bullet points like that. I like to alternate them. So like I would have either put it on Friday or put the one on Sunday in the note section, but it's okay. Like do it, do it however it feels to you, like what makes sense to your plans as well. I never try to let that get in the way of how I'm planning. So that's bomb. And then sometimes I just plan around it too, because I always, I pull in other bullet points as well. Then I added in a couple of more like little smaller boxes that I love. In the on friday and tuesday so boom now i'm gonna punch this baby i just got a couple of holes i want to punch and y'all this is the we are memory keeper um planner punch or just crocodile punch i said planner punch and i've had this thing for a while i did a um a review on it for a company a while back and when i discovered it i was like yes this is genius and you can use this thing for like planner like planner uh covers if you are into making those like laminating and stuff like it just makes it simpler sometimes than pulling out the whole punch even though i love my happy planner punch but just for a couple of punches pull that thing out add it to your stash y'all i'll put a link below if you haven't gotten your hands on that and you use the happy planner or any disc ground planner system okay so i'm going back through this sticker book just trying to make sure that i don't see any other quotes or anything but y'all i absolutely love this spread like this spread turned out so pretty and I really am going to give credit to those big sticker clubs clusters y'all <laughs> like this book is just I thought that was nice and y'all I felt like I was gonna clear the whole page do y'all do that do y'all have like a goal of clearing your sticker books but I ended up not using this cluster here and y'all can see it has a little bit more of like different aesthetics to it like that little sunburst look to the black and white behind those layered boxes then use those and then of course i got more boxes to use so i can use this whole set again just in a different way and then of course there's other designs in this book everything that i love like i can't wait to use this turquoise and then those florals on the front oh, so pretty 
Cassie, you did your thing, girl. You did your thing. Thank you so much for sending it to me. And yes, Bestie, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you love the spread. I hope you have learned something. Comment below if you did. And please like this video and definitely subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thank you always, Bestie, for being you, being so sweet and so kind. And until next time, I love you. Bye.